the credits he gets Lion Tech will transfer to Hutchinson Community College um, to get your associate's degree. Yeah, and, and if you take the EMT course uh, typically offered in the summertime, uh, you can actually come out of Salina Tech, you can, you can graduate high school with the opportunity to get hired on any career department. You'll have uh, at least all of the requirements to be hired on a career department, and for some departments you'll actually have more than what they require. The demand for firefighters is high uh, throughout the state, uh, throughout the country. Um, like Lieutenant Griffith said, uh, you'll leave as a senior with all the credentials you'll need to get hired anywhere in the state. Uh, most departments require that you be an EMT, uh, have Firefighter 1, have Firefighter 2, plus hazmat operations and awareness level. Um, so that's a minimum. And then some departments require a CPAT uh, test, which is a physical agility test, plus a uh, firefighter entrance exam test. Uh, so all of those things that you have to keep in mind when you finish the program, you have to test to get your certifications, both EMT and firewise, um, and then you still have to do a CPAT and uh, basically your entrance exam test. Yeah, there's many departments around the state that are actually lowering their hiring uh, requirements because there's so few firefighters that are uh, out there in the job market right now. Yeah, and I'll just give you an example. When I started back in 1991, uh, at Salina, uh, I tested with about 250 to 300 guys. And then out of that pool, they narrowed it down to like 15 to 20 that they were going to interview, and from there they made a list. Uh, so the demand back then was high. Uh, today's market is not the same. It's very, very few. Um, you know, the last time we did a hiring process, we were lucky to, to pull 10 guys to interview. Yeah, um, even 10 years ago when I was hired in Sedgwick County, um, they messed up and didn't have all of my credentials in, and I didn't get an interview. Uh, at first, they interviewed 24 people for eight positions. Um, it turned out that we had every single one of us in our recruit academy of eight people had their fire science degree. And uh, the most recent people that we hired in Sedgwick County um, a few of them didn't even have their firefighter one. So there's a huge, huge shift, even, like I said, just in the last 10 years of the requirements and the, and the, the opportunities to get hired. 